Welcome back. Amid his legal problems, Donald Trump returned to the campaign trail in New Hampshire yesterday. He spoke at a luncheon for the New, the New Hampshire Federation of Republican Women and brought up his indictment in the classified documents case, saying it's only making him more popular. As you know, two weeks ago, crooked Joe Biden ordered his top political opponent arrested. Oh, who is that opponent? Oh, it's me. Oh, <laughs> Right in the middle of a presidential campaign that his opponent is winning by a lot. Think of this one. This wasn't in the book. This wasn't in the playbook. But because the public is really smart, my numbers went up. Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a badge, a great, great, beautiful badge of honor and courage. Because I'm being indicted for you. Let's, of course, recall that in 2016, Trump repeatedly said that Hillary Clinton should be arrested. And then in 2020, urged his own government to investigate the Biden family. Yesterday, Trump also bashed Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who was also campaigning in New Hampshire. In New Hampshire, we have a 47 percent to DeSanctimonious with 13 percent. And by the way, he's holding... He's holding an event right now, which is considered not nice, you know, because candidates go through. It's not really nice, but he's holding an event right now to compete with us. There's only one problem. Nobody showed up. So, indeed, DeSantis held his first town hall in New Hampshire, and it wasn't far from where Trump was standing. The Florida governor took about a dozen questions from voters, and he was pressed on two subjects he doesn't usually talk much about. Abortion, one, and Trump, the other. A teenager asked DeSantis if he thinks Trump violated the peaceful transfer of power on January 6th. Here was the governor's response. If this election is about Biden's failures and our vision for the future, we are going to win. If it's about relitigating things that happened two, three years ago, we're going to lose. And so I can tell you this. I can tell you this, I can point you to Tallahassee, Florida on, I believe, January 5th, 2023. Uh, we had a transition of power from my first administration to my second because I won re-election in a historic fashion. And at the end of the day, you know, we need to win and we need to get this done. So. Uh, I wasn't anywhere near Washington that day. I have nothing to do with what happened that day. Obviously, I didn't enjoy seeing, you know, what would happen. But we've got to go forward on this stuff. We cannot be looking backwards and be mired in the past.